Police are looking for another schoolgirl who has gone missing. Earlier today, police issued a statement saying 16-year-old Michaela Bobcomb, a pupil of Princess Town West Secondary School, was last seen leaving her Indian Walk Princess Town home. She was reported missing to the Princess Town Police Station by her mother. Police are also still looking for 15-year-old Kalia Lily Kozia, a pupil of Bonia West High School. She was last seen leaving her Gandhi Street St. Helena home at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday. She was wearing a white and blue flowered dress. She has been described as being 5 feet tall, of medium build and dark brown complexion. The teenager was reported missing to the Las Lomas police by her mother, Alana Williams, and 23-year-old Shondell Golden of Fatima Trace Paramin in Maraval was last seen at the corner of Nicholas Street on Moncoco Road at about 1.30 p.m. last week Friday. He was wearing a pair of blue three-quarter pants, a black-colored t-shirt, and a pair of black and white sneakers. He is of mixed descent and is 5 feet 7 inches tall. Economist Valmiki Arjun says policies are too harsh and this is possibly hampering investment in this country. Responding to questions on the latest Central Bank report, which shows the economy is continuing to weaken, Dr. Arjun said despite a small increase in the global economy, Trinidad and Tobago's financial and monetary environment is not in a good place. Because the policy environments are too harsh, it's limiting the, the, the business environment and, and limiting, so, so essentially it's limiting investment activity and business activity as well, entrepreneurial activity. Now, despite a series of borrowings uh, recently, we've not really made any serious uh, or, then all this, or, or very little plans as well to make serious productive investments, especially in non-energy sectors. He said what is needed is a holistic package to dealing with the increasing unemployment rate. Nobel Prize winner Sir Derek Alton Walcott has died. The poet, playwright and painter died at his home in Cap Estate, St. Lucia this morning. C News understands the 87-year-old had been ailing for some time and had only been released from hospital on Thursday. Sir Derek made this country his home in 1953 before founding the Trinidad Theatre Workshop in 1959 where many of his plays would be produced. For many years, he divided his time between Trinidad, where he has his home as a writer, and Boston University, where he taught literature and creative writing. In 1992, Sir Derek Walcott was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. His funeral arrangements, which will be held in St. Lucia, are still to be announced. In a look at some sport news now, Leicester City have been drawn against the Spanish side Atletico Madrid in their maiden Champions League quarterfinal. The Premier League champions progressed to the last eight by beating Spanish title chaser Sevilla 3-2 on aggregate. Leicester will play the first leg against last year's beaten finalists away from home on April 12th with a return leg on April 18th. Holders Real Madrid face Bayern Munich while Barcelona takes on Juventus and Borussia Dortmund plays Monaco. And that was your CNews update. I'm Mahalia Joseph. Have a good afternoon.